Another video in this tech series. Um, earlier this week, I made a review of the Champions League, a state of the Champions League round of 16. What happened? Which teams went through? What? How my predictions compared to what actually happened during the games? So now I thought, um, let me do something similar towards the quarterfinals of the Champions League. In this video, I'll be going over each draw, what team I think is going to win and why. Welcome back to the JVM Football Channel where you can find game analysis, football history, individual performances, top 10s, etc. If you are interested and would like more football content like this, please subscribe to the channel. Let's not waste any more time going over housekeeping stuff and let's get started straight into the video. The first draw of the Champions League quarterfinals is Chelsea against Real Madrid. I think that this is an, a very interesting draw, a draw that mimics the draw that happened, when was it? Yeah, I think it was last year when Chelsea beat Real Madrid. Yeah. So who is going to win this draw? Who do I think is going to win this draw? I think that Real Madrid are going to win this draw. I think that they are a much better team. And I think that they have the pieces in place that in the event that things drag on like they did against PSG. I think that Real Madrid have the players and the experience in the team to make things, hap things happen down the stretch. No, no that Chelsea don't have the same players. For example, you look at someone like Thiago Silva or even someone like Lukaku. Lukaku does have some, a lot of experience, like Belgium top scorer of all time. So Lukaku is, not, is no bum. But compared to some of the guys at Real Madrid, Benzema, uh, Modric, Toni Kroos, Casemiro, Marcelo, guys that have been in the Champions League, that have repeated in the Champions League, that have been at Real Madrid for such a long time, that have been um, competing at the highest level for such a long time, and that was just used to this type of environment. I think that that gives Real Madrid an edge. If you go and if you want to take this into, if you're going to compare their defense, midfield, and attack, and reserves and coaches who's better, Real Madrid's goalkeeper, in my opinion, um, Courtois, is a better goalkeeper than Mendy. Of course, that's up to debate, especially over the last the last season. But on that day, I think Courtois is a better goalkeeper. Their defense, it could go either way. But they think Chelsea have been Chelsea's defense has been very good. You could look at that midfield, and that has to go to Real Madrid. Not only do you have those iconic three, in Casemiro, Modric, and Cruz, you also got you also have guys like Valverde and Camavinga coming through, who are just extremely talented. And then up front, you have. Vinicius and Benzema who have been killing it this season So in this show, I have to give it to Real Madrid What has gone well for both teams throughout the season? Um, I'm going to do this by rating each team's season out of 10. I would rate Chelsea's season out of 10 an 8 or probably a 7 Because first of all they haven't won anything so far and although they don't look that like they are in prime position to be winning the Premier League or the Champions League Chelsea still got themselves in the top three of the Premier League and in the quarterfinals of the Champions League not not titles but still quite positive feats quite incredible feats and for that reason I have to rate their season a seven and a half out of ten whereas Real Madrid they are first in La Liga in my opinion they are one of the favorites to win the Champions League they just beat the favourites PSG of the competition. So I have to rate Real Madrid season out of 10 a 9 so far. The only reason I'm not giving it a 10 yet is because they haven't won any title just yet. But when they do, I mean... Oh, sorry, Chelsea did win the Club World Cup. But that's, that's just like a continuation from last season. That's like a trophy for winning the Champions League. So, okay, you could say that Chelsea have won the Club World Cup. And yeah, for that, I'll, I'll give the season an 8 out of 10. But again, if we're going to talk about who's going to win, this round is going to be Real Madrid. And if I have to pick a deciding play of someone who's going to make it happen down the stretch, then I'm giving it to Benzema. Then you have Manchester City against Atletico Madrid. And who do I think is going to win? I'm going to go with City. I think that City... Oh, if you look at Atletico's playing style, they're probably, they're probably going to be a team that are going to sit low, play defensive and try to hit on the counter. 
well, I reckon Manchester City fancy their chances against a team like this because first of all, they're a team that create a lot of chances and they're a team that even with our striker are able to score the amount of goals that they have scored. So I don't think that, Ch that City and Pep are going to have any difficulty breaking down this Atletico Simeone side. Out of that, I'll send how much do I rate their each, their each season. I would give City City season so far a it has to be between between an eight and a nine. If they win the league, I'll give their season a nine and a half out of ten. The ten out of ten would be if they win the Champions League, because that's a trophy they're really pursuing. But so far, because they haven't done other thing and they've not won a trophy yet, I have to give City season. An 8.4 8 out of 10. There was Atletico, a team that have won the Liga last season and that underperforming massively this season. And sure, they have gotten to the quarterfinals of the Champions League, but they've played, they've played a very poor Manchester United side and they got kind of stuck in the group stage and in the league they are underperforming. So I'd have to give Atletico Madrid season out of 10 a 4. The telling player in this round and who's going to make it happen. I think I'd have to give it to a guy like uh, De Bruyne because of how close Tatika Madrid are going to be. I think that De Bruyne is going to need to come through and create those chances again and again and again for his teammates and for himself. Then we have Bayern Munich against Villarreal and who do I think is going to win? I think Bayern Munich is going to win this one. They are the favourites, they are the better team, bigger club, they are in much better shape this season. They have the like on this day they have more experience. I have to give it to Bayern Munich. And I'm never going to waste too much time on this one. I mean Bayern's going to be Villarreal. Then we have Benfica against Liverpool. And although Benfica have done well to get here, done well to get to these quarterfinals, we have to give it to Liverpool. Liverpool have just been incredible this season. They've already won the Carabao Cup. And other people like to, you know, mark the Carabao Cup. That's still a trophy you have to win. You have to go out there and win. You have to play some of the best teams in that in the country to win that trophy. That's still a trophy that counts. Liverpool managed to make a comeback and now and now are now in this title race with um with City. And They've also been, in my opinion, the best team in the Champions League so far, even after the hiccup against Inter in the last round. Telling player on this of this round, um, I think that the telling player of this round will come from up front. It has to be Salah. It has to be Salah the telling player of this round, um, especially considering how Mifika are going to play. They're probably going to close down. That's the only way because if they try to open up too much, they'll get exposed. So we have a guy like Salah up front making things happen. But anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching the video until the end. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more game analysis, football history, individual performances, top tens, etc. This is the beginning of something special, and it would mean the world to me if you subscribed. It helped me to grow this channel.